Mao Zedong, also styled as Chairman Mao, was the founder of Chinese Communist Party and the modern-day People's Republic of China. He occupies a unique but controversial place in history as one of the most important Chinese figures in contemporary history. December 26, 2013 saw the 120th anniversary of Mao's birth, leading to various activities and celebrations being held across the country. This has led to much debate and discussion throughout China over Mao's legacy and how he should be remembered. Opinion is divided between those who revere him for ending the long war in China and establishing a strong republic and those who remember the crippling impact of some of Mao's later policies had on Chinese economy and society. His successor, Deng Xiaoping, famously said Chairman Mao's leadership was 70% right and 30% wrong, a now orthodox stance gradually adopted by the party here in China. So just how is Mao viewed in China today? Are Deng Xiaoping's sentiments echoed by the general public? We went onto the streets of Beijing to find out. His contributions definitely surpassed his failings. The Cultural Revolution was a mistake, but great men can make mistakes too. Our love for Chairman Mao is great and deep. He led his people to overthrow the three big mountains. Nobody will ever surpass his status. His contributions to the country were greater than his mistakes. His starting points were always right, though sometimes the consequences could be disappointing. I think everyone should admire Chairman Mao's greatness. Everyone makes right and wrong decisions in life, and we shouldn't only focus on his failings. Chairman Mao did many great things for China and the Chinese people. The importance of his contribution cannot be overstated. I was a soldier in his army. He was the supreme leader of our party and the nation. We should celebrate his memory. I think his leadership had strong weak points. During the Cultural Revolution, a lot of good people were denounced as rightists and subsequently persecuted. I was born in the 1950s, and Mao brought great hurt to people of my age. Who has never made mistakes? It's not strange that Chairman Mao made a few errors at that age. Or well, some thoughts from the streets of Beijing there on Mao Zedong's legacy.